Now, whenever we made the MetaHumans path tracing versus Lumen, I said, look, I can't just flat out say that Lumen hardware ray tracing is better than path tracing. It, that's just not the case. And after seeing that result, what I wanted to do right away was test the same exact thing, path trace versus Lumen, in an outdoor scenario. And I just threw a bunch of stuff in here so we can kind of see it visually. Now, the left side only has 1,500 samples per pixel. I could have upped this to 2048. That would have cleaned it up a little bit. But honestly, I like a little bit of noise because it mimics film. And on the right side, we're using 16 samples per pixel. That's my usual in my renders. And you're going to see right away on the left side here, and again, we're, we're, we're pixel people in here. Look at the shadows here. You're going to see that we were seeing a lot of dancing noises in there. And one of my favorite path tracing qualities is how path trace handles shadows. It just handles it so naturally and beautifully, right? It's, it reminds me of an area Alexa shadow. And I'll see highlights as well. But you'll see that here. Samples per pixel. Now sure, you can denoise this and get rid of that stuff. You can easily do that. But my goodness, man. This path tracing outdoors with some foliage. It looks amazing. So let's press play here. I mean, even this right here. If you look at the color chart, it looks a lot less digital than this. This kind of looks like, oh yeah, that, that looks like a rendered digital, but this, this actually looks like if you were to place this color checker in that environment. And that's mostly because the shadows on these color boxes are diffused. It just, it just looks so natural than like this. It's very subtle, but whenever you're trying to render photorealism, man, like every little subtle things that you can do helps tremendously. I'll pause it right here. The reflections on the path tracing slightly improved. Now this is maxed out everything, high quality translucency reflections, everything to right. See right here and see right here, slightly better, I would say. And you can see a lot more detail. Again, on the left side, you actually see a lot more of the trees. Here, it's kind of just like a shadow, right? It's, it's, it's clipped. But that's that's insane. That looks amazing. So press play. All right, similar to the tree that we looked here on the top left corner, this little glass object that I put in here looks amazing. There's actually a kind of like a fall off, you know, to to the translucent side of it. Whether and, and on this side, it kind of just like, oh, this looks really good, and then it goes like. Like, there's not much of a fall off. You can actually see this kind of get darker, which looks amazing. The depth of field is there. And this right here just looks so natural. It's, it's much more natural to me. Press play. All right, we're getting closer to the MetaHuman now. Looking at the reflections here for the soldier. Still looks pretty darn good. And once again, this is clipped. There's not there's not really an image there anymore. But here you can still really see it really faintly, the leaves uh, on the tree. Pretty awesome. I don't know this one right here I could have fixed in um in post process, but in path tracing it's already doing that. It's easily fixable in the material if I was just to render in Lumen. Um the edges. We talk about Lumen edges here a lot on the channel. The edges on the path tracing 
clearly stat depth of field looks amazing. You know, if I look at this picture here, this just looks kind of rough. And again, we put a meta human in here. Now, the sclera on the path tracing, this is not the new meta human. This is an older version. So the eyes um in the newer version look a lot better. So this is the old material because this is an older meta human. So just ignore the sclera for now. Mainly pay attention to the skin and the uh the way it's kind of rendering groom. Just overall basically looking at the skin texture and obviously the outfit, right? So that's that. And we're using the new Petsavol Boca, by the way. It looks good. It's working. All right, so let's play that back again. And again, just a disclaimer, like my, my test here is all visual tests. This is not really a scientific test. This is just me rendering path tracing and lumen as if I were like to decide which one to do. Um, I'm probably going to be sticking with a lot of lumen hardware ray tracing, but for like some cool stuff like shorts that I think path tracing would um, look a lot better and it would be necessary, then obviously I would swap over. The next section, I just rent, went ahead and rendered um, just regular TSR, 8 sample per pixel. This one rendered in 3 minutes and 28 because obviously we don't have eight SPP in there. I think TSR is freaking amazing. I've said this a million times. Like Whenever I play video games now, that's Unreal Engine 5, I set it to TSR because it looks amazing, really crispy. It does a really good job, again, comparing it to path tracing. You know, a three minute render versus seven, eight minute render, man. I mean, seven hours. I mean, this is a three minute 28 versus seven hours. I mean, let me know what you think. <laughs> but but to me, it's like, yo, that's that's freaking amazing. That's incredible. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Give it a like and comment in the video to help me out with the SEO rankings. I truly appreciate it. That said, I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.